Hey guys, so after the reaction from my pumpkin spice taste test, I decided let's do a Valentine's taste test on all these chocolates that they sell. Now, we all know like the classic chocolate hearts, but today we are going to find out which one is the best, which one is worth it, which one isn't worth it. We're gonna figure that out right now, today. So let's get started. We have a lot to go through, as you can see. with the least expensive chocolate heart I could find, the biggest bang for your buck. It is the Hershey's Pot of Gold. This baby comes in at $8.99, and this has 8.9 ounces of chocolate, dark and milk chocolates. Okay, so let's just talk about the packaging. Super cute, honestly, I love it. Look, red and pink hearts, nice little gold bow, a little tag, look at Cupid going on there. Can we see this? Okay, so anyway, this pot of gold is cute. So let's open it up. Oh, fancy. Okay, so inside you have the iconic paper. Ooh, get all these chocolates got going on here. Nice assortment. And what's really cool is that there is a guide. Now, I'm all about the guides. Okay, so I love a good guide because it will tell you exactly what chocolate you are about to eat because I don't like no surprises especially if it's that I don't like the strawberry creamy ones and all those fruity ones so um this is a good this is very nice very nice for $8.99 yes thank you Hershey's okay so my favorite chocolates are usually coconut it and mm, I don't see a coconut so this is probably gonna get a bad rating from me. Okay, so this is super cute. Um, Hershey's, $8.99. And let's go to the next one. We will taste at the end when all of them are opened. Okay, the next one I believe is the Russell Stover Heart. Everyone knows that there's a Russell Stover Heart I think in every drugstore, every Target, every Walmart, you name it, you will see it there. And yeah, this is a $14.99, so big spender here. Instead of the $8.99, you can go for the $14.99. And this is also milk and dark chocolates, but only 5.1 ounces. So you're getting eight ounces from Hershey's for $8.99, and you're getting five ounces for $14.99 from Russell Stover. Rude. Okay, let's try this, let's open this. Okay, here's the Russell Stover heart. Yay! Bright red, has a rose kind of imprinted on it, says Russell Stover. Okay, so then, of course, we open it up. <gasps> Nine pieces. Nine pieces, everyone. I mean, not that I need the other amount of pieces. I mean, I guess, but I guess the heart comes across like there's going to be more inside, but they're actually just bigger pieces, but a smaller amount. Okay, and there's no guide. I don't know what I'm eating. Thank you, Russell Stover. We got that one. Interesting. Oh, okay, so let's go with this. So I did order the Valentine's box, but instead, I got this. So this is definitely not Valentine's themed. I was kind of disappointed. This is by C's Candy. It's eight ounces, it says, and it was for $13.75 for eight ounces. It's just a silver box. You really like, there's nothing to see about this. And ooh, 
they give you a little guide and a guarantee. It says C's Candy on here. And you just get a bunch of chocolates in a box. I mean, C's Candy is iconic in California and I think in America. Okay. This is the next heart, everyone. It is by Amor Demona. Now this is a vegan and gluten-free and nut-free and everything-free box of chocolates or heart of chocolates for Valentine's Day. Now this is gorgeous. The box is pretty. The bow is really classic and beautiful. And this is $35. So I think this is like really pretty for a $35 box of chocolates. It says 10.7 ounces. That's a lot. That's a lot of chocolate. Open it up. Ooh. This is gorgeous. Look at these chocolates. Oh my gosh. The hearts, they're in heart shapes. They're, they look so amazing. Wow. I'm really, really impressed. There's a guide, which I always love. So it tells you exactly what you're going to try. Okay, awesome. This is gorgeous. I'm so excited to try them. And they're vegan, everyone. Okay. That is pretty cool. The next chocolate. We have three left, everyone. So we have this one, Fannie Mae Chocolates. I don't know, I just saw Fannie Mae chocolates and they have hearts on them, so I decided, why not? Let's try this out, it's a box. And the price point comes in at $43.99. It's a little pricey. Okay, they, they give a guide, which is always fab. I love a good guide. Okay, and these are the chocolates. Hmm. Not that impressive, honestly. I really don't know that much about chocolates, but I don't know. It's all right. I wouldn't, I think that the vegan chocolates were definitely much more impressive. These are cute though. Now we are going with the two most expensive chocolates. We have $50 box of chocolates here. We have two more left. So we're gonna start with this one. It's called Lake Champlain Chocolates. They're made in Vermont. Really cute box, I have to say. Gorge, gorgeous box. And there's a guide on the back. Okay, let's open this beauty up. 11 ounces of chocolate. $50, 11 ounces. Okay. Oh, now this is giving me color. This is giving me beauty. This is giving me Valentine's. I am impressed. Like Champlain, I love the pink and the red hearts. They're like coming across so gorgeous and it looks so beautiful. And now for the final chocolate heart. This is the most expensive one. It is from Godiva. They are not messing around. They send it in this box. Ah, look at this. A Valentine's Day assortment featuring 14 delectable chocolates and truffles. Cushioning. Guys, this box is not kidding around. For $50, you can get a cushion. Almost feels like a pillow. Silk, beautiful pillow from Godiva of chocolates okay look at this too like this is gorgeous and i think you can take it off definitely has heard sirens okay so you can take it off i think and pin it it's a pin you can wear it around on valentine's day if you so choose so let's open this beauty oh hello godiva godiva writing on the side this is no joke this is so bougie Okay. Wow, it's so heavy. And then of course there's a guide because they have to give a guide. It's so expensive. Okay, it is opened. Here we go, everyone. 
the big reveal. Godiva. Honestly, I am not impressed with this at all. I don't know. It's it looks okay, but it just looks so I don't I don't know the word to describe it. It just looks like really manufactured, like perfect in like a glossy, like weird way, where the other ones look like custom, like they made them like just came out of the I don't know. These seem like handmade, like there was like heart and soul put into them, and then these just look like whatever. Okay. I think you're paying more for the packaging of the Godiva than you are the chocolate. Okay guys, and now for the taste test, what we've all been waiting for. Okay, so, and this is a caramel chocolate. Let's give it a taste. Okay, tastes like chocolate and caramel, good, not bad, delicious. Okay Hershey's, yes. All right, next we have the Russell Stover, a bump up, $14.99. They do not give you a guide, I have no idea what these are. I'm gonna go for this one because I'm hoping it's a caramel or a coconut and not something that I'm going to regret. Okay, here we go. So chewing. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that chocolate has been sitting in this box for like five years or something. It's so chewy. It's all right. I actually like the Hershey's better, and that's cheaper. Not cheaper. <laughs> okay, next we are doing the C's candy, which is like the most. Just, the box is so boring. But I think they just sent the wrong box, honestly. I'm gonna go for this dark cir circular one because I'm assuming that that might be like a caramel or a coconut, hopefully. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Okay. Not coconut, not caramel, but it's like a chocolate mousse and honestly, it's so good. Seas candy is amazing. So delicious. Okay, so out of the Seas candy, the Russell Stover, and the Hershey's, I have to go with the Seas candy. It is amazing. Not the best looking box, but I'm sure you could probably find a nicer Valentine's box from Seas. Um, but definitely my favorite so far. Okay, so next one is the vegan and gluten free candies that are absolutely gorgeous. And I forget how much they were, $35 I think for this beautiful box. So $35 for this amazing box of curated, like homemade chocolates, vegan, gluten-free, nut-free, everything. Okay, let's try it out. I'm gonna try hopefully a caramel from their guide. Give this a try. What? Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, this is vegan and gluten free and everything free. It is delicious. It is amazing. Whoa. Oh my gosh, amazing. Wow, that's better than the C's. And that says a lot. So this one is awesome. Uh, yeah, let's go to the next one. Wow, that was totally a winner. Okay, so the next one is the Fannie Mae chocolate. Here we go. Pretty basic. The chocolate's really thin, and the inside is really sugary. Not a fan. Thank you, Fannie Mae. Okay, we are down to the final chocolates. The super expensive Lake Champlain. Let's do it. Ooh, it kind of reminds me of Matilda, you know, the chocolates that Miss Trunchbolt has. It's like cute little thing. Okay, here we go.
Okay, Lake Champlain. They are giving me decadence. They are giving me caramel. They are giving me fresh caramel. They are giving me deliciousness. Whoa, that was delicious. This is definitely probably worth it. If you like chocolate and you wanna spend $50 on a chocolate heart, this might be the one to get. Delicious, and if you don't have allergies, I mean, this is definitely amazing. Wow. All right, and now we're on to the final, the most expensive, the velvet pillow of chocolate for Valentine's Day, the Godiva heart. They have a guide as well. I was gonna go with something with caramel because I love caramel. The dark chocolate caramel embrace. Should we hit that one up? They give you more chocolates than there are in the box. Just so all you know. So we don't have the dark chocolate caramel embrace. We do have the pecan caramel duet. Or the coconut pyramid. Oh, let's do the coconut pyramid. This is it. No. It's just not doing it for me. It's super sweet. It just doesn't taste authentic. Like this, this one tastes amazing. The like Champlain and then you have this Godiva one and it doesn't taste, no. No, not at all. So, thank you Velvet Pillow. I mean, if you want the velvet feel and if you're getting it for the case, definitely get the Godiva, but do not get it for the chocolate. It's not worth it. So, my favorite out of all of these, honestly, is the Amour Demona one. It's only $35. It has this beautiful box, beautiful chocolates, and they're all like custom made, and they're vegan and gluten-free and everything, like you won't have any allergy problems. Whatever your problem is, not here. It's not here. And it's gorgeous. It comes in really great packaging. I love it, totally worth it. Second place has to go to Lake Champlain. These chocolates are this was so good. And um, it's also beautiful, beautiful box. Third place I think has to go to C's just because they're C's candy and they are really great. And also not that expensive as well. And then honestly fourth place, I think has to go to the Hershey's box, the $8.99. This is, it's totally like, it's affordable. It's not expensive at all. It's Hershey's chocolate. You really can't go wrong with Hershey's chocolate to begin with. So. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed taste testing these Valentine hearts with me. Comment below what your favorite Valentine's chocolate is or Valentine's candy is, and comment below what you wanna see next. I'm always just coming up with some fun ideas for you guys. So that's it, happy Valentine's Day, and I'll see you guys soon. Big